morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Well, welcome to the Putnam County Veterans Wall of Honor 2022 Veterans Day Ceremony. Thank you guys for coming today. And um, I would like to go ahead and introduce this morning. Actually, if you could and, you, and you're able, go ahead and stand and let's uh, do the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. Present arms. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Order arms. And now, go ahead and Ms. Sheila Clopton will now sing the national anthem. Also, if you have any phones at this time, real quick, go ahead and turn them off or silent them. to introduce Mr. Dick Dickens, former commander of BFW Post 6686. He is going to do our invocation. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, thank you profoundly for our brave American heroes. As we honor them, give us a fresh and renewed spirit of love for them and for our nation. Open our eyes to the sacrifices they have made to keep us free to worship you in peace. Thank you for our beautiful land, a land of abundance and freedom, and a beacon of liberty. Thank you for our veterans and active duty heroes who put their lives on the line to keep it that way. Help us to now to retain that blessing by honoring your gift to us by not allowing ourselves or our elected officials to slip back into sloth and graft and other sinful practices. They rob the people of their heritage, keep us vigilant, violent in Jesus' name. I am gonna end up on, I pledge allegiance to the flag, my heart to the soldiers who defended it, and my life to Jesus who sacrificed it all for us. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. All right, next, our guest speaker today is General Rod Heaver. General Rod Heaver. 
Well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I, um, I very much appreciate you letting me come out and be a part of your ceremony. Most of you I've gotten to know over the past few years. Uh, a lot of you I've known for quite a while. Uh, just a little bit about some, a couple of things. I see Susan Larson out here, out at the Butterfly Center. They put up a, a um, display of the symbols and the seals for all the services. And um, it was kind of funny. She she wanted the the one done for the Seabees also, even though they're part of the Navy. But it's because she's doing something out there to talk about pollinators and how the military is helping pollinate. But if you go by there, look at the seals for the military and uh, understand we're all part of making the world a better place. So, Susan, thanks for doing that. Um, I do want to say thanks to a couple of people before I really get started. A lot of you, you know, I've been in, in living here in the community now for about 15 years. I've been retired from the Army now, 12. And um, I'm getting to know you more and more and more, but some of you I've known for a long time. Uh, George Weems, who you see over here, when I was a second lieutenant, George was the meanest man in the world. <laughs> he, was, he was my major, and he taught me military intelligence, and he taught me leadership, and he taught me empathy and how to take care of people, and just did a great job. So, George, you're a treasure to the community, and you are an absolute treasure to me, and I appreciate you very much. And, and uh, it's people like him that help people get promoted and moved up the ladder. And again, thank you and, and, and Ms. Williams. We, uh, let's, let's give him a round of applause. Thank you. You know, you all know Veterans Day and what Veterans Day is about. And it's, you know, it was, it was done many years ago and as a symbol of a day to say thank you to the veterans for the service they had done. And it was timed because of the war, the way the war uh, ended. On, it ended on November the 11th at 11 o'clock in the morning. So it was 11th month, 11th day, 11th hour. And that's the reason we celebrated on that day. And it means a lot to us veterans for people to, to support us during Veterans Day. But we, we really got to do a better job of marketing ourselves. We, I think we got to tell people more every day what we, what we do and what you did in the service. I, I'm going I'm to get away from just a normal script for Veterans Day and tell you about a conversation I had this morning at a store here in, in Eatonton. I stopped to get me a biscuit for breakfast. You know, first thing in the morning, you got to get something to eat and do this. The young lady behind the counter said, did you have any luck this morning? And I said, what, what do you mean? She said, well, did you see any deer? I said, no, uh, I, I, I haven't been deer hunting. She said, well, you're in camouflage, and I figured you were a deer hunter. I said, well, I am a deer hunter, but I'm, I, I'm uh, more than that. I was in the service, and uh, I'm going to speak at the Veterans Day ceremony. She said, oh, I don't know much about the service. And I said, well, I kind of thought that. <laughs> I said, well, well, what can I tell you about the service? She said, well, what, do you, what did you do in the service? Well, you know, I could have said, well, I was a general and I did this and this and this, but that, she would not have comprehended that whatsoever. Nope, not at all. So I said, well, what did I do in the service? I said, we captured drug runners in South America and we closed down drug plants that were shipping drugs to the United States, so we made, the place of, you know, made it better down there. We waded through swamps in Vietnam and helped stop the communist aggression when they were trying to come down into, into Southeast Asia and take over Vietnam. We fought the Germans in World War I and the Japanese in World War II when they were trying to take over the world and make the world their conquered place to live. We rebuilt New Orleans after Katrina blew in and, and put everybody out of their homes and out of their houses. We inoculated, believe it or not, inoculated cows and sheep in Afghanistan so that they wouldn't have diseases so they could be better for the, for the people there to live on and eat and, and do that with. And we set up medical clinics in Iraq, uh, had the first ever elections in Iraq, and we put a very serious bad guy out of business so that the people of Iraq could rebuild their country and protect themselves and live in a good democratic-based society, even though uh, it's not quite the one we want it to be. They are doing elections and they are doing some things. So 
that's that's some of the things that we did in the military. She said, oh, well, I didn't really know the military did all those things. I said, well, that's good. She said, well, I got another question for you. She said, what'd you make in the military? And I started to say, well, let's see. Okay. In, uh, in, in World War One, if you average out the hours and all that, it was about 18 cents a day. If you, if you look at Korea, you know, it changed a little bit. You know, a, a soldier made about a dollar and a half a day if you look at the hours they worked and all that. In Vietnam, it was about $4 a day. And uh, I came in in 1970, right at the end of Vietnam, and it's gotten better. I said, but a soldier still doesn't make a whole lot. You know, we make about, if you look at the soldier today, when they're working with the, with the hours they've got and all the things they do and all the things they have to put up, they make about $7 a day. And she said, well, what? I said, I mean, that's what I would have told her if I'd have gone and talked about money. But I said, here's what we make. We make the world a better place. We make people safer. We make people healthier. We make communities stronger. Because we take the brotherhood that we earned and learned in our military careers and we bring it forward and we weave it into the brotherhood in a community and into a church and we make it stronger and stronger and stronger. And that's what we make in the military. That's what you make. You know, when people ask you, what you make in the military? Don't tell them I made you know, $18 a day and you know, $400 a month. What you made was the world a better place. You made things happen that would not have happened if the U.S. military had not stepped up and said, I will serve and I will do this. I think that I want to be part of something bigger than myself and better than myself and do something for the greater good of my whole community. We, you, the veterans, if you think about it, last week we had open and honest elections in the United States with no rights, no nothing. That's because they knew that veterans worked and fought for us to be able to do that. And they knew that if they screwed it up, we would kick their butts. <laughs> and, and, and they just didn't want that to happen. So the truth is, veterans, that's, that's what you do. When people say, what did you make in the military? You made the world a better place. What did you do? I helped people. I, I made the world a better place. I made it safer. And, and, and those are the kind of things that, that you all do. I think we need to do a better job of marketing ourselves. I'll tell you, I spent 38 years and six months in the Army, and, and I guess I, I should always stop and say, did anybody here serve with me in either 3rd ID, 18th Airborne Corps, or 1st Army? Okay, well, it's always good to know who's in the crowd, because, you know, nothing messes up a good war story like an eyewitness. <laughs> so, before you start telling war stories, you got to know who's hanging around with you. So, but wherever you served, whether it was with, uh, in the Army with me, if it was in the Navy, the Coast Guard, the Air Force, the Marines, um, thanks for your service. Thanks for everything you do. And thanks for the way that you blend your, the talents and the skills and all that you learned in the military into the things that you do here every day. You make our community stronger. You make our churches stronger. You make our families stronger. And that's what life is all about. I thank you from an old general. I appreciate you very much. You know, it takes about 10,000 soldiers to make a general, so I appreciate all the work that they did to, to get me up there. And um, if I can ever serve you again, please let me know. God bless uh, our community. God bless our state. And God bless America. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Gerald. Always a pleasure to have you here and speaking for us. Ms. Sheila Clopton, you'll have to excuse me, I kind of jumped out of order in the program. I was just so excited this morning at y'all. Here we are with Ms. Sheila Clopton with some more uh, patriotic music. At this time, I'm going to be singing the Armed Forces song, and when I sing the song that, of your branch that you served in, you can either stand or wave your flag. And please join in in singing these songs. And I've got a little bit of a challenge with the sun this morning trying to see my iPod. So here we go. United States Army. Peace
United States Navy. <laughs> hard up here in the sun. All right, um, real quick, I just would like to thank everyone for coming today. Before we finish this up, I would like to thank the Putnam County Board of Commissioners and our Putnam County uh, Chairman, Mr. Billy Webster. Well, Austin, but I know he's here somewhere. Yes, thank you, sir. Thank you for Putnam County. And um, I'd also like to thank the, um, the Eatonton um, BFW Thrift Store. They financially helped us work a lot in the past year. Um, Next, I'd like to introduce Ms. Reverend Sidney Jackson to do our uh, benediction. Thank you, Nathan. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. I did want to 
I am too. Amen. You know, the general said, we need to promote ourselves better. You know, we don't know about it. Thank for this day. And Father, we thank you, Lord, for all your men that stood upon us. And Lord, we want to thank you, Father, for being able to be here today, celebrate Bell's Day. Down here to Bell Park with all those that are here today. And Lord, we just basically put all military everywhere and all veterans throughout this great world of yours. And Lord, we have to continue to lead and guide us. And Lord, we know that you lead and guide us and we will be led right. And Lord, we had over there to have families, Father. Oh, Lord, if they if they are going through anything, we have to strengthen them, Lord. Oh, Lord, just strengthen them and bless them. Get them back they stand in need of them. Because, Lord, we all need you, Father. Some for one thing, some for another. But I do know that we all need you. These blessings we ask, and we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Reverend Jackson. That will conclude our ceremony today. Thank you all very much for coming, and please come back and enjoy this uh, nice park anytime you would like to. And um, we thank everyone here for their service and sacrifice to our country. Everyone that supported every veteran and every veteran himself. Y'all have a blessed day. Thank you. Enjoyed that so much. You didn't turn this off. Yeah.